हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टेस्ट एनजी दिस इज अंशुल चौहान फ्रॉम एज एपिक्स डॉट कॉम दिस इज माई फर्स्ट टूटोरियल ऑन टेस्ट एनजी इन कमिंग वीक्स वी विल सी एडवांस टूटोरियल्स एंड अदर टूटोरियल्स अबाउट द टेस्ट एनजी सो लेट्स सेव स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द हाई लेवल एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज ट्रेनिंग सो टूडे वी फर्स्ट वेरी फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज टेस्ट एनजी देन वी विल सी द एडवांटेज ऑफ द टेस्ट एनजी एंड देन वी विल सी टेस्ट एनजी इंस्टॉलेशन so uh, let's start with the first uh, topic what is test ng so basically test ng is an open source automation testing framework what does it mean what does it mean by the test automation testing framework so basically you have seen in java programs we have to run uh, our methods and uh, our complete code using the main method and other using other stuff you can you need to invoke the applications but uh, uh, testing code have their different needs in testing you create the different different test scripts okay and every test script we know every test script is a is a another java method so do uh, how to run that how you can generate the report how you can perform the other operations like validations and other things so these all kind of things will be handled by the test ng these all kind of things will be handled by a framework so that's why test ng is an automation testing framework later on you uh, once we will go with the test ng tutorials so you will uh, may, uh, the picture will be may, uh, picture will be very clear about the why uh, why we called is a test ng automation framework or testing automation framework so test ng overcomes the limitation of the other testing tools like uh, like j unit sorry other testing frameworks like j unit obviously if you have written down your java code and you know what is unit testing then obviously you must have written your unit tests in j unit so test ng comes with the uh, j unit comes with the limitations with some kind of limitations uh, there are a lot of limitations with the j unit uh, we will see in the coming slides uh, how test ng will uh, overcome from these limitations so this is all about uh, the test ng let's discuss about the advantage of the test ng so test ng provides a lot of advantage over the j unit there are a lot of lot of advantage in uh, with the test ng which is uh, there are a lot of features available in the test ng which is missing in the j unit so we will discuss all these features the first one is parallel execution yes parallel execution means you can execute more than one test in parallel the feature is not available in j unit you can't execute more than one unit test parallelly but with the help of test ng you can do that in the coming slides and coming tutorials we will see how we can do the parallel execution and how it is helpful in the selenium as well so uh, <coughs> the first advantage which come which comes with the test ng is the parallel execution the next thing is the test dependencies what is test dependencies test dependencies means uh, suppose your test is depend on the another test then you can make this test dependent on each other suppose test a is depend on test b uh, suppose test b is a prerequisite for the test a or test a is the prerequisite for test b so before execution of the test b test a should be executed first so we can depend the test b on test a so once you will execute the test b it will automatically call the test a first test a will execute then test b will start the execution so using the test ng you can uh, provide the test dependencies which is not possible with the j unit the next advantage of the test ng over j unit or the next uh, feature of j unit is set execution order in the test ng we can set the execution order of our test case although it's not a good practice to uh, set the execution order although it's another it's the test dependency is also uh, is also not a good practice because uh, there are a lot of concerns uh, when you make test dependence on each other so but we will discuss this is not the uh, topic or this is not the concern for today's training we will discuss in the coming slides uh, to, uh, today we will uh, uh, we will make focus on these uh, points as only okay so the test execution order so in the test ng we can set the execution order we can set the order like test a should uh, run first then test b run 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 then test c run then test d run with that with the j unit this is not possible in the j unit j unit uh, you can't uh, set the execution order in the j unit it will call your test randomly but the with the help of uh, test ng you can do that and the next thing is test case grouping yes in test ng this is the best feature and the most useful feature in the test ng you can divide the test cases in the group 
we can discuss uh, the, the all these things we will discuss in very detail in coming tutorials but today we are going to just we have just introduction section introduction session of the test ng so we are just discussing uh, these in the we are not discussing these in very much details we will see the practical implementation of these things as well so test case grouping in the test ng you can divide your test case inside in the groups like you can divide your test case okay this is my smoke test this is my sanity test this is my regression test you can divide multiple groups as well you can divide you sorry you can assign a multiple group as well to a single test suppose a test is uh, you can uh, you want to uh, you want to give a uh, you have a single test and you want to give a group like smoke and functional so you can do this in using you know, on a single test uh, single test you can provide the two groups as well so test ng you in the in the test ng you can uh, assign the group to the test cases as well and you can run a particular group as well suppose you have assigned five tests in the sanity 10 tests in the smoke and 12 tests in the regression and you want to execute only the regression test then you can do that uh, to run to include that particular group you can run only these 12 test cases which are assigned to the regression group or which are assigned to the sanity group or which are assigned to the smoke test smoke group so test ng grouping the test case grouping is a very important feature in the test ng which is missing in j unit okay and the next one is detailed html reporting in the j unit we didn't get or we, we we don't get any html report but in the test ng we get the detailed html report with the specific regions like that particular detail get the total number of test cases test suit how much time a test case taken to execute and the other useful uh, information as well the next thing is easy to use with the integration testing test ng is basically uh, invented for the integration testing only unit testing the, the all 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 kind of uh, request or all kind of uh, requirement which is which we have with the unit testing is fulfilled by the j unit but j unit is not much uh, uh, not much useful with the integration testing so test ng is helpful in the integration testing the second uh, the last thing is data driven testing in uh, data driven testing is easy in test ng what is data driven testing suppose your test uh, data driven testing is something when you provide the data to your test case from th uh, from some kind of external tools or from some kind of external database and your test case iterate over that particular data the data driven means data is driving your test case so data driven testing is very very easy with test with the test ng but it is uh, to make the j unit test uh, data driven is not a simple task but with the j with the uh, test ng you can do this very easily so these are the advantage of the test ng why test ng is preferable okay the next thing is why test ng with selenium so test ng has a nice reporting feature and uh, web driver has no narrative mechanism to generate the report this is the first thing in the web driver you have seen uh, web driver don't selenium web driver don't have any reporting features we can't generate the report or test report with the web driver api but with the help of test ng you can do that test ng itself has a html report we have discussed it so integration of the test ng and selenium uh, will provide a lot of benefits we will uh, see these benefits or we will <coughs> look into the benefits in details in the coming uh, tutorials videos the next thing is test ng simplifies the way the tests are coded what does it mean so there is a no more need for a static main method in our tests the sequence of actions is regulated by easy to understand annotations that do not require method to be static we know very well to start the java application main method is necessary with the help of test ng you don't need to include any main method inside your application you just need to put simple annotation uh, with your test cases or with your test methods and execute your execute your uh, java class then test ng will automatically execute your test code with the help of notations we will see how we can do that so test ng simplifies the way of tests are coded you don't need to uh, make the call with the <coughs> You don't, need to create, you don't need to create the object of the class and then you need to call these methods on the object of the class using the main method. No, there is no way. There is no need to do this. The next is better exception handling and reporting. So uh, we know very well in Java programming, uh, in Java programming, if we need to uh, handle any exception, then we, need, then we need to put some kind of exception handling. 
with the test ng do you don't need to put any kind of exception handling you just need to put the annotation in front of in, in, in front of the test methods and it will test ng will handle the all kind of exception by itself only okay uncaught exceptions are automatically handled by the test ng without termination of the test prematurely these exceptions are reported as failed step in the report so if you are if you have any test case like test a and you put at the right test and notation with the test a and you execute the test with the help of test ng and you got some kind of exception in middle of the test case so that particular test test, uh, test ng caught that particular test exception and insert log that test exception inside the test ng report so you will easily find out why i am why my test cases is getting failed okay so this is the best feature in test ng so now we will see how we can install the test ng so very first uh, very first to install the test ng we have some prerequisite like java should be installed inside your on your machine so java 6 is mandatory at least java 6 is mandatory and eclipse should be installed if you are using eclipse for the development then eclipse should be installed so let me open my eclipse wait for a minute please okay i am working in some other uh, work space so let me switch to my work space yeah so my time um, <coughs> you can see i have opened my clips and uh, for information i will let you know uh, java it is installed inside my machines so let's come to our slide so the next thing is very first launch your eclipse so i have already did that click on help menu and select the option install new software so switch to eclipse here is the help menu you need to click it click on help and here we get the options install new software we need to click it okay so this window will open inside your machine now next step is new dialogs for uh, no dialog window will open okay uh, it's opened here enter any name as you wish and enter the url in side the location of uh, where we got the url okay and then click on okay button so http bust.com eclipse so here we mentioned the uh, <coughs> okay work with here i need to mention the url http Okay, I'm already getting it. Okay, click on add. So here we need to. Okay, you don't need to do this. Just give me a minute. It's resolving the issues. It's resolving the dependencies. If you want to, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to install with test ng with this specific name, then here you need to define the name like test ng, and here you need to paste the URL. So it's be. ust.com eclipse okay so you can see here i am getting something the test ng getting fast from this url we need to select it okay click on next so it is calculating the requirement and dependencies at run time okay so i am getting test ng me2 integration optional So I need to click it and click on next. I accept the license and click on finish. So it is installing the software. Let's come to our slide. It will render you on the accept license windows. Now accept the license and click on the finish button. We have already did that. That's it. You have done. Let's see. It is uh, what we are getting. So once test ng will install, the uh, pop-up window will be closed. so how we can verify that test engine installed in my in my machine or not you need to click on any project extract any project go to any class okay right click on particular class go to the run as options okay here i am not getting anything okay uh to verify you need to go okay do me a favor go to any class and there you can see here i am have here i am have uh, the test annotation in uh, on front of my in front of my test case i need to run click on run 
okay i'm not getting the test ng option let me see what is the problem test ng will take a while to install but when it will be installed the uh, the pop up window will be closed so now we need to verify whether the test ng is being installed in my machine or not so we need to click on any project any java project open any class okay uh, right click on the class uh, why i'm getting there right click on the class and go to the run as options and in the run as options you will see the uh, test ng test so if you are getting any uh, you are getting the options to run any class as a test ng test then it means test ng is being installed in your machine successfully so that's all uh, how we can install the test ng and eclipse so thank you guys thanks for the video uh, thanks for your time so if you like the video please comment if you have any question if you have any query regarding the test ng installation or test ng uses of the test ng then you can comment inside the in comment on this video and we will be happy to answer you if you like the video please share it and like the video as well thank you thanks for your time